Yes, and good evening to everybody, amen. You belong to God, which is the head of my life, amen. To all the deacons and all my bads, oh, everybody in their respect, great place, amen. Famous, lasting, famous, still famous, black, amen. Thank God for you. Very it's good for us to be back in the house of prayer. Regular checkup. 
And the doctor will say uh, he gained four ounces, three pounds, or whatever it may be. But when you go back for a normal checkup, and if that baby has not grown, oh, yes. it raises a red flag. I mean, while time is still going on, the baby is still alive, but they are not growing. Same thing about us. Amen. And if you don't grow, you'll mess around and get stunned. Amen. 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 Let me tell y'all something. You can't grow home. Oh, no. You can't grow home. You, you got to be around where the word of God is being fed. Amen. And I, and I was reading today, saying that, well, this got good to me. Amen. It says, it's, it's two things that will occur when a Christian start to mature. Number one is you will have a negative affect and you will have a spiritual affect. In other words, the negative will be you will be no longer tossed to and fro. Amen. Mm -mm. You will no longer be tossed to and fro. In other words, uh, when you start to grow, it, amen, and start to mature, any and everything will not move you. You can tell when a person is growing or when they are maturing. The thing that you say, the thing that you do, it don't move you. Why? Because you are mature. That, that's what I'm talking about from that negative point. You can say what you want to. I know who I am and who I belong to. That, that's, that's the negative. Amen. The positive thing is about it, that Paul talks about that we will grow up unto him and come full grown. Why do we have so many babies in the church now? Uh, I'm not talking about baby Christians. You, you've been in church a long time. Now. You, you, I mean, you ought to be growing now. Oh, yeah. oh, God help us here. We ought to be growing now. And you know what? I, I, I've been in church a long time. And some of you all have been in church longer than I have. Amen. I think I've been in church close about 50 years, 51 years. And guess what? I'm still not satisfied with my growth. Oh, yeah. No, no, I, I, I'm greedy. I'm still not satisfied. I, I, I want more. Yeah. All of us can do better than what we'll do. Amen. I'm talking about are you you growing? Amen. We we need to grow to the point that the aspect of being living a Christian life, yeah. conducting ourselves as a Christian, you find yourself growing. Yeah. Uh, another good point is that. If you can't take no more this year than you did last year, it's a good sign that you're not growing. Let me take a sign here. God, this is good. Even those of you that uh, uh, works on the farm or been on the farm, uh, when they set out the plants, amen, they would put fertilizer, they put things around it, uh, nurture to help that plant grow. Our life is the same way. Uh, if, if we are not around the nursing of the Holy Spirit and the Word of God, we will become stunned. I don't want to listen. You can be alive and be still be stunned. Amen. Amen. I, I was thinking on the way here, sometime my wife be driving, I will be saying that, I'll be thinking. I said, guess what? A lot of people are in the church, but is the church in them? Uh, it makes all the difference in the world. Amen. And you know what? I'm in this boat with you. There come times in my life I don't feel like I'm growing. Amen. And, and then when I get to the point I don't feel like I'm growing, I don't be looking at nobody else. That's right. What I do, I go check out myself. Amen. But my question is tonight, are you growing? growing? Let's look at it from another point of view. All of us that have, uh, that have a, a bank account, you want that thing to grow. Amen. And the only way that that thing can grow, you will have to make a deposit. Yeah. You can't take nothing out from it. You got to keep adding to it. And all of us that, that gets a bank statement, you don't have to wait 30 days. Or you go online and have to set your step up right. And you, you pull up day and night and you kind of travel along with it. But watch what I'm saying. If there's a problem there. You say, I tell you what, 9 o'clock when they do, I'm going to call them. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to say, somebody explain something to me. And then if they can't do it, you say, let me talk to the manager. You, you want to get it right. Well, don't you know that your soul is more important than your money? The, the point of 
are we growing? Listen, we are building church. We are building uh, a conviction. We know all these things, but are we growing? That, that's where we are located tonight. Are we growing? And listen, there's nothing wrong with having good singing, nothing wrong with having all the program that we have, but at the end of the day, are we growing? Amen. If we are not growing, something is wrong. Because this is not even in my text tonight. A lot of folks are still on milk. You need to get off of that similar. <laughs> we got too many similar Christians. In other words, they're still on the bottle. How long are you going to keep on sucking the bottle? It's time you to get off the bottle now. <laughs> you, you listen. You need to be teaching somebody else. And now you have to point somebody still need to teach you. You've been in church now all this time, and somebody got to keep teaching you the thing over and over again. Well, I remember once you read said, it's time for us to leave the personal thing. I can't read the footnote. It says it's time for us to leave the elementary. Yeah. In other words, not that we're going to change, but you ought to be growing from that. Yeah. I, I said, <laughs> I to come back to my mind, a Bible study been on three or four years, and we have people that watch the Bible study that they don't even come. They'll call the you know, Bible study the Bible next day. They'll call and talk about it. Watch this. Now, look at yourself. I'm going to look at myself. You know how old everybody here is at different age, born, different days, different times, different years. Well, watch this. Just suppose that you were born in 1955 and you still look the same. Oh my God. <laughs> can, can you imagine about 68 years ago and you still looking the same, still haven't grown? Uh, isn't, isn't there some a, a child staying here that long, a person staying here that long, and guess what? Still not growing. Somebody will call folks from all over the world that I have this child here, but this child is not growing. Amen. Amen. There's something wrong when you do not grow. Amen. And when you do not grow, stop growing, you need to find out why I'm not growing. Watch oh, this. Yeah. And I'm in the boat with you too. I started losing too much weight. I want to find out why. <laughs> I mean, I'm losing too much weight. I'm dropping off. Matter of fact, I mean, most times folks want to drop it too, you know. But, you know, you can't drop it putting the table to you. You move the table. Amen. Amen. You follow what I'm saying there? But guess what? We grow healthy. When we sit down to the table, we eat very well. I'm coming back to my table. We sit down and eat very well that we grow. But if you want to grow spiritual, have a spiritual growth, you will have to eat the word of God. Now let me try it one more time. You would have to eat the word of God. And if you want to God help us here. It said, now when you want to grow, you listen, most of the time when people come to church now, did you not know church got buffet style? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You know what buffet is? Yeah. You go in there and pick out what you want, pick over what you want. I don't want none of this. But guess what? When you just get this right here, get this is their buffet. Oh, yeah. The word of God is not buffet. The word of God is right for all of us. And I tell you one thing, well, even though when you go buffet, you're going to pick out some stuff that call you have high blood pressure. Oh, but nobody has ever seen high blood pressure by reading this. Oh, Amen. 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 This is the word of God. This is what we need to be fed on if you want to grow spiritually. I'm always speaking out of experience now. The older I get, the closer I want to be to God. Amen. And you know what? It become a struggle to me now too. What? It used to not be a struggle, but now it can be a struggle. The more, the closer I try to get to God, the more roadblocks. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Amen. Now let me try one more time. The closer, the more I call on God, the more I pray to God, the, the closer I want to get to Him, the more I want to grow to Him. There'll be more roadblocks in my way. But did you not know, I'm getting to a few minutes, trials and tribulations call you to grow. You want to be as strong as you are now if there hadn't been some bridges washed out in your life. Oh God, help us here. So I, my question is, are you growing? Now just because uh, you cry and go around to my, nobody don't think nothing about it, they can help you grow now. You, you cry and it's not all over everywhere. That is not going to help you to grow. Amen. If you want to grow spiritual and find out where you're growing, you need to build a relationship with Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. He's the only one that's going to help you to grow. Oh, yeah. Even with my saving, sanctified self, I find my 
myself, sometimes that'll stand still. Oh, I say, God, I haven't heard from anybody ever been like that before. Yeah. Not the point that I'm not saved, not that I jumped off the track, but I haven't heard from you, God. Oh, and when we get to a time, God help me here. When it gets to a time I can't hear from God, I want to hear from God. Oh, yeah. Y'all know how y'all got all of us to have these children. Y'all got the truth, you know what I I want to hear from a baby every day. Uh, Amen. Yeah, you want to hear from every, every day, two yes, or three sir. times a day. Well, it ought to be the same thing about Jesus. That's right. You ought to want to hear from him every day. You ought not want to lay down and not hear from the Lord. Ooh. Ooh. My question is, <laughs> my question is, are you growing? And when you start to grow unto him, you become fully grown. And then we will have the aspect of a Christian. Yes. In other words, we'll start conducting ourselves. See, when you find yourself growing, when people come talk a whole lot of food, don't bring that in. Right. And if you really want to know right. how you're growing or are you growing, when people start to bring you some foolish stuff and some crazy stuff, you say, keep it moving. Right. That's right. That's me, I, I don't grow from there. I, I mean, I used to entertain this stuff, but I'm entertaining this stuff now. That, that's when you know that you're growing. And when you find out that you can start to love them that hate the ground that you walk on, on that's a good sign. Man, I'm, I'm getting a little bit better. You haven't reached that yet. Oh, uh, Paul said, he said, he said uh, uh, I have not apprehended, I have not arrived yet, but I'm on my way. See, in, in order for you to grow spiritual, you got to press your way. No, I'm going to hit some air there. might be a little touch there. But if you are, let me tell you something. Sitting home on Sunday morning in your PJs ain't going to get it. Amen. Y'all know what PJs is? They call it pajamas. Sitting there not going to get it. You're going to have to press your way if, if, if you want to grow. That, that's the only way you can grow is, is press your way. And I, I, brought, I wrote down some things today. Another way to help you find out you're growing, develop a strong prayer life. When you develop a strong prayer life, it's because you started growing in God. You know, when you used to pray, you couldn't say about 15 words and say, Amen. <laughs> but now you can say right there and, you know, call out maybe 100, 150 words. Don't even bother you with it. That's a sign you're growing. When you used to pray for two minutes, now you pray 20 minutes. You can say what you want to, that's grow. If you're not very sharp, some of you, if you check your weight in January, go home and step on tonight. So sometimes we don't even want to look at the scale. We want to get on. You know, when we get on, we don't want to look at it. And you're talking about this thing ain't right. No, this, this, this thing ain't right. This is the best scale that anybody can step on. And if you want to grow spiritual, you will have to read, study, pray, and meditate on the Word of God. Let me try it again. If you want to grow, you will have to read, study, and meditate. Let me get out. We got a long ways to go. We're making now. Listen, we're talking about growing in the grace of God. My question is: Are you growing? We have a tendency to look at other folk. I'm, I'm trying this down and I said, wow. My mama, my dad, my sister, my brother, my children, my wife, they may be grown, but they don't have nothing to do with my growth. Amen. They don't have nothing to do with my growth. And sometimes we brag on, I tell you what, she, she really got the Holy Ghost. Hey, you. Oh, yeah. I tell you what, boy, I believe she holds. What about you? you did, we did it. Listen, once you said, examine yourself. We need to stop examining everybody else and look at ourselves. Amen. God help us. Let me move on. Listen. Yeah. Growth is three things we can look at. Growth can be development and it can be improvement and it can cause you to go to maturity. How long Paul didn't say that, you know, that you're not, be not driven by every wind and dark. Everything comes. Listen. You're not growing when you jump on every train that come by. That's right. Amen. Amen. You don't jump on every train that come by. Uh-oh. That's not a sign you're growing. Because, listen, when I said jump on every train, every doctor, everything that sounds good, that maybe might make you feel good, that does not cause you to grow. Let me tell you something. Just because you can shout 20 minutes, <laughs> the devil can shout 30. Hey, what about I tell you what, she really got. How you know you don't stay with her? Uh, oh, 
Y'all see where we at? Only thing that you know is about you. Uh oh. Because you don't live with other folk. But you know where you're growing or not. I wish I had an amen there. Listen. Growth in our life, sometimes problems, will be the opportunity for growth. Watch this. Sometimes trouble, trial, difficult, disappointment, and life storms will cause you to grow. Some of you that sit here tonight and listen tonight, if you had to went through what you went through, you would be as strong as you are right now. Sometimes, God help me here, sometimes it takes a storm in your life in order for you to grow. Because sometimes you just don't automatically grow. Sometimes something got to come and shake us up. Let me try it one more time. Sometimes a thing got to come and shake us up. In order for us to grow. Yes, but you know what? I, I, I have a strong determination. Amen. I'm not going to die here. Amen. When, when I stumble, when I fall, I'm not going to lay there. Amen. You know why I come? Because I'm alive. Amen. If I stumble and I fall and I die, I might die there. But because I'm saved, because I'm alive, Amen. when I stumble, when I fall, and because I got some spiritual growth, I'm going to get back up. Oh, God, help me here. Sometime in life, when you stumble and fall, y'all say, this is not my destination here. That's right. Amen. Well, Amen. I, I don't know about you, but since I've been saved, sometimes I stumble, I fall, I, I, I make a mistake. But I say, this is not my mistake here. This is not my destination here. Amen. And you know what? If this is not your destination, what you need to do is get up. They, they, they don't do it now, but it, it used to be uh, all over the state probably. But I know these have in Norfolk, Virginia years ago. Uh, they used to be riding the city bus. The city may do it. I haven't been on the city bus. You know, wherever you were going, if you're going from one part of the city to the next part of the city, when you get on the city bus, they have a strain run all the way across. Anybody ever rode the bus, have a strain on that? And when you get to your stop, you know, you reach up and pull the strain. And when you pull the strain, that bus will make it to the next dock. But guess what? How about if you just stand up and your arm happened to hit the strap? And the bus still stops. You don't get on there because this is not. <laughs> oh, sometimes you can make a but you can see what y'all looking at me funny. But guess what? Listen, you you are still saved and sanctified and holy those feel, but you stumble, you fell along the way. But this is not your destination. What do I have to do? Because I'm growing. Yes. My I'm going to get back up yes. and shake myself. Yes. Every once in a while, nobody else may not shake you, but sometimes you got to shake yes. your own yes. self. Yes. God, God, yes. I to feel good tonight yes. because sometimes you got to shake your own self. Yes. And the reason why I want to shake myself because I'm still alive. Yes. And guess what? I'm still growing. Yes. And sometimes when I stumble, when I fall, I say, God, this is not my stop you and just don't block you. God help us here. I wish they had an amen out there. Watch this. Sister Hayes when we were, uh, my question, hold on to my text what I the question said, are you growing? That's what I want to teach you about. Are you growing? Listen. We don't want, and I said we, I'm talking about myself and you know. I just don't want to be alive. Amen. I want to grow. Amen. A lot of folks say, well, I'm just, I'm just alive. Suppose you had a, a fruit arch and all the trees were just alive and just had leaves on it and no fruit. Uh, Your life is the same way. Amen. I don't want to just have leaves. That's right. I don't just want to be just doing stuff. Right. I don't want to just have leaves so somebody can sit under my shade. Uh -huh, I want to have some fruits in my life. I, I want to have somebody that want to have some fruits in your life.
the sun. That's the night as much where you say, I go to they ain't got nothing to do with it. I go to church every Sunday. They'll come too. Amen. And get what? He don't even have a car with somebody bring. <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> Listen. I just don't want to be a, just a lie. Amen. But guess what? I want to grow. We all can live. But my question is, are we growing? Amen. Think about it. We're here, but are we growing? Let's take a self-examination. Last year, I read the Bible once a month. So that let me know I read it 12 times. This year, if you still read it once a month, this year the third way she didn't read it two, three times. You can't keep doing the same thing and expect a different result. So if you're going to grow, you got to put some time in. Mm, listen. Where there's life, there should be some growth. God wants us to grow in Him. Mm, watch this. Growth is vital. Amen. Growth is important to every Christian. Oh, yeah. Let me try it again. Growth is important to every Christian. We ought to just stop. You don't need to ask the person behind you, not the person in front of you, but you ought to be asking yourself, am I growing? If not, why not? If I'm not growing, why not? By now, watch this. I'm just teaching. I'm not I'm not just teaching. By now, you have been converted, saved, Sanctified, Holy Ghost filled, fire baptized, reading, studying, praying, and meditating on the Word of God. By now, if you've been in church, I'm, I'm just going to say I'm never, if you've been in there four or five years, I'm just saying four or five years, by now, you ought to be a seasoned Christian. Amen. 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 Let, let me see how old people used to put this, and I'm going to put some fish in soap. <laughs> They stay in there long enough that salt was spat. Anywhere from three to five years by now, Woo. you ought to be teaching somebody else. Amen. Uh oh. Amen. But guess what? Instead of you teaching somebody else, somebody else got to teach you. You see, y'all find out where I'm going. And y'all sit there by five. You know what? And this, I, sometimes I beat myself up. I said, yo. 30 some years, I still should be further than I am. I'm not even satisfied where I am. Oh, amen. Amen. But at least I'm not standing still. I'm still moving slow. Oh, but I should be further than where I am. Because I'm not blaming nobody but myself. Amen. If you don't put that in it, you don't get that. I, I hope I can get to the point tonight. Talk about you know you have the discipline in your life. I hope I can get to it. That, that, that's a sign of growth right there when we start to discipline our life. You listen to this. When I say you, I'm talking about myself. We are. You are responsible for your growth. Amen. Mm. You ought to want to grow. Watch this. Now I'm just teaching. Folks say well. Uh, I don't go to it. I don't get nothing out. Well, go somewhere where you can get some out. Amen. Amen. You might not get nothing out. You might not get nothing from me. That's right. But get your coat and your hat Boy, and your shoe. Amen. Go somewhere where you can get some. You don't need to stay here and die. Amen. Amen. You say, I don't get nothing. I don't get nothing. Jesus. Let me get on the ladies real quick. You keep going to this same store, there ain't no sale there. That's why you say, I ain't going, I can't get that nothing. They don't go back to the same. <laughs> Your life Same. is more important. Yeah. But if you can get something out of what I'm teaching, Amen. just because you can't get that nothing, they ain't going to stop me from teaching. Amen. Amen. I'm going to say it like this. And I, I think about this all the time. I, I, I think about my grandchildren. Not the truth, just the brand new. I said, I'm three times, going four times older than they. They can take a computer 
and send me to Mars and back, and I wonder how I got there. <laughs> now, I was here a long time before they were. And y'all looking at me kind of strange. <laughs> if, if you don't believe it, you take a, a eight, nine years old child and put a computer, or you put a, say, a smartphone in their hand. And where you can't get to, all you got to do is get a rat right that today. Right? Yeah. What you do? Just pass that rat right <laughs> And you want to pick up all of that knowledge. But when it comes down to the Bible, they seem to have a problem. Uh, all right, <laughs> my point is, are you, are you growing? Spiritual growth and material, uh, spiritual growth and, and maturity, it comes from listening and obeying the word of God. Amen. If you want to grow spiritual, start then listening to the word of God. And then start to obey Amen. the word of God. Amen. And you got some folks saying, I don't see it like that. Amen. You don't supposed to see it like that. Amen. When I say the one, say I say the all. Watch this. Understand it and recognize our weakness. Now, I'm going to start right there. You can say what you want to. It does not matter how long you've been in church. It does not matter how long you've been saved. It doesn't matter how many times and how long you've been reading and studying and fasting and meditating on the Bible. Every last one of them that's black and breathing got a weakness. Amen. 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 I hear a few. All this. We got a weakness. Ain't that but lacking chocolate cake? You don't even need it. <laughs> All of us got a weakness. And can I be real? All of us need some help tonight. I'm going to talk about myself. I just the meditating today. I, I want to go back and rededicate my life. I said, what in the world have you done? No, no more of you. I just want to do it all over. Just come this. Because I might miss something somewhere. I want to be sure. What I mean, no, I'm still saying, but God, I want to, just like you did the first time, God, I want you to come back and do it again. I mean, I was so enthused with your help. So, God, I want to do it for you to do it again. Is there anybody up in the box that God said, do it all over again? That's what I mean by rededicating it back to God. You know why I come? Because the sun is going down. Amen. It's getting late in the evening. Time is winding up. That's why every chance I get, I want to keep on growing in knowledge, in wisdom, and in grace, and in the word of God. See, this is why come. you need to read and you need to study and you need to pray and ask God to give you a revelation. Amen. And when you get it from God, you won't be blown by every wind. And I thank God for my foundation. Okay. You may not thank it, but God does not thank God. Because I've been somewhere everywhere in everything. Mm. But I tell you what, folks don't bring me a whole lot of food. Mm. They sure don't. Well, every once in a while, fly by night, one might fall out of the sky. Mm -hmm. Amen. Let's move along from there. <laughs> uh, understanding and recognize our weakness. And sometimes when you understand and recognize your weakness, guess what? Then you will start beginning a growth. You say, I understand. I messed up. I'm weak here. See, when you think that you're weak, you're strong. The average person is not as strong as they think they are. Let me try it again. The average person is not as strong as they think they are. Watch this. It, it, even if you go to a store, a digging area, and they want to buy a jack, then they say this jack will live uh, 5,000 pounds. How do you know? That jack has been tested. In order for you to know that it'll hold 5,000 pounds. Amen. You don't know what you can do until you've been tested. That's right. You don't know what you can hold. You don't know what you can go through until you have, oh God, help me, you've been tested. Oh, yes. We don't grow, listen, because other folk grow. That's right. Mm. Our growth is personal growth. Amen. And we get upset because people won't come to church when we want to come. They call you done. What was this? We, we get upset because we ask folk to come to the church and they don't come. Watch this. 
If all of us work on the same job, I ain't gonna beg y'all come to work. The Friday come, I got my check. <laughs> you don't have to beg nobody to go to work. It's a single mighty strange thing. You know, you got to keep pulling for to come to God. God, listen, He won't give you breath to get up. He won't give you strength to go to work. And you like, I'm tired. I'm, but listen, you ought to bring your tithe to the house of God and give God thanks and give Him praise. We're in the midst of your tithe. Mm. We don't grow because other people grow. Our growth is a personal growth. I'm just giving an introduction tonight. We'll, we'll work on getting more next tonight, next week night, Lord says, listen. I cannot grow for you. And you cannot grow for me. Amen. Now we can help one another. Yes. But your growth is personal. Yes, is. My growth is personal. Watch this. You don't need to wait till Sunday morning to come in and open your Bible. Amen. Amen. You need to open your Bible every day to the week. You wait till Sunday morning and get, get, wait till the preacher over here, then you're going to open your. Uh, if you put, a, I mean, you, know, you put a blindfold on me right now and give me 20 Bibles, I can tell you what you've been reading at. <laughs> uh oh, see where we're in now? Uh, but guess what? If I preach long enough, I'm not by I should come across somewhere where you already read. Amen. Somewhere I should come across that. Amen. 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 The Bible says one water, one planet, but God will oh, give the increase. You read it now, it might be somebody way across somebody. Oh, that I read it. That's a revelation right there. Mm -hmm. You have to, the reason I said my growth is personal. You have to work out your own soul salvation. I think Paul uh, uh, picked it up in Philippians. Maybe 2 and 10, 2 and 12, somewhere yeah. around there. Second chapter, verse 10 to 12, somewhere. He said, work out your own. Amen. Your own soul. Seven. I can't work it out for you. You have to work it out for yourself. Yeah. It's good that my mama, my daddy, my sister, my brother, my children, my loved one is growing. All of that's good. But what about me? Oh, yeah. Am I growing? I can't stand before God and say, God, my wife, my children, my mom, all of them got nothing to do with me. All of us had an account for God for ourselves. My, my question is, are you grown? It says, speak the truth in love and may grow up unto him. And the next verse talks about that we may grow in the grace of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Watch this. Spiritual growth. God, time's up. Spiritual growth and, mat and maturity, it comes from discipline. Now you can say what you want to. Discipline, it ain't no joke. Amen. It ain't no joke. Discipline means that you're going to make yourself do what you're supposed to do. Amen. Deny, I'm going to get to that in a few minutes. Discipline yourself. What do you mean discipline yourself? I'm going to discipline myself because I want to grow. Amen. And if I want to grow, I have to read my Bible. Amen. Well, oh, well, you know, well, I, I can't read it. None of us can read that well. I mean, some, some words in that Bible, I'm going to tell you, Lord, no truth. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, it's only 26 alphabets. <laughs> but God, I know 26 alphabets that make up some words. Amen. And I'm going to tell you, too, if you don't know your, 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 your nouns and pronouns, <laughs> Your vows and I, I mean, you know, if you trying to say it, I mean, it sounds way out somewhere. And they just miss it. Yeah. But I tell you what, God has fixed it so. You don't have to scratch your head and try to put all that stuff together. All you have to do is take the phone out of this, match it to chapter 1, chapter 3, and let it read. Oh, now help me from back here. Yeah, that works. And you still trying to say it. Y'all looking at me funny. Y'all know y'all can't pronounce all the words. Y'all looking at me now. I got No, you ain't you fooling yourself. And guess what? Can I tell you something? Now, I'm, I'm just teaching. Yeah. If you call that word something else, that's wrong. That's wrong. <laughs> I'm guilty. I mean, y'all yeah. look at me like y'all can pronounce every one of them right. You don't, <laughs> you don't pronounce all of them right. But they, you know, hamburger is good, but it's good to have a hamburger help. I mean, it's good. God has God have made it possible that all we got to do is push some buttons to help us pronounce some of the words. If you can 
know in the book of St. Matthew, the first chapter, come on up out now, mispronounce the word, you good. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Our spiritual growth, oh, I got a bad story. We'll read something next one. We're not listening. Our spiritual growth comes from discipline in our life. We need to make our life discipline. We need to have a prayer life. I'm still trying. I'm still struggling with prayer, y'all. What you mean? I can't pray enough. I still can't get my prayer life like I want. And y'all, y'all must got y'all going on. But I still don't know how the Bible said we don't know how to pray. Said the Spirit give us another one to pray for. So what I have to do is I have to discipline myself and make my call myself to pray. I have to discipline myself. I'm looking at the crowd tonight. Mm -hmm. A whole lot of places you could have went, a lot of things you could have done, but you said, I'm going to Bible study. That's right. And when you come to Sunday school and Bible study and worship, sir, don't worry about trying to capture the whole sermon. That's right. Oh, if you get one nugget. All right. <laughs> oh, you don't take one key to open the door, you walk through the whole house. <laughs> See, one nugget will call for something else to happen. And most of the time, you try to catch the whole Bible study, try to catch the whole study, but just get a nugget. The question is, are, are you grown? Watch this. Woo, God, this is good. Listen, some of us that's in this world, uh, when you start disciplining ourselves, we're just jogging around. Just jog. I don't want to jog the rest of my life. See, you can't jog through here. You will have to discipline yourself Amen. to prayer, read, and study because my growth depends on it. Yes. Amen. Let me say it again. I, I heard somebody. Oh, yeah. Watch this. I, I'm going to have to pray and I'm going to have to read and study and meditate because my growth depends on that. You can't grow if you don't read and study and pray and meditate. Uh oh. I don't care how many tongues you speak in, but speak in an English tongue. Yeah. And you're talking about, I, I got it going on. No, you ain't got it going. We've been fooled a long time. Folks been making us feel good, thought we had something, we got nothing. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, you, you listen, after I finish shouting, after I finish preaching, and I feel good up here sometimes. Mm -hmm. But when the Spirit died down, uh, okay. anybody ever been like that? You come in church, I mean, you know, you, I mean, I mean, the spirit is hot. Yeah. Oh, boy, but when I high down now, you're going back to the time. Yeah. Boy, That's the way life is. Yeah. But if you want to grow, you have to discipline yourself. You can say, self, we get up and we're going to church in the morning. Right. Self, we're going to pray before we go to bed. Yes. Self, we're going to read tonight. Yes. You have to make yourself read and study and pray every night. Because your growth depends on that. Amen. Listen, we have a great privilege over here. We can read, we can study, break some of the other country folk can't do that. Amen. That's right. That's right. Whoa, Lord help us. I'm not even nowhere in the story. Right. Uh, First Corinthians 9 and 27. We'll go to it in a few minutes. Listen. It talks about the spiritual growth. Watch this. You don't need to keep jogging. That's why I left off. We don't need to keep jogging. Because jogging will not get the job done. What you and I need to do is to train ourselves with prayer. Train ourselves in studying the Bible. Train ourselves in worship, sir, because my growth, your growth and my growth depend on my prayer and Bible study and worship, sir. Spiritual growth comes from self-denial. Sometimes you got to deny, oh, Lord, have much God. Oh. You know how there's sometimes you try to get something done around the house and God is speaking to you and go and pray. You want to take a few minutes? Go and pray. I'm guilty. God tells us go and pray and read. We were instead of going doing something, you got to make this. It's true. You, you got to make yourself this. Those things that make you feel good and the thing that you love to do, sometimes you got to cut it off. Even this, let me tell you something. Take it from a little country boy. Start out every day with a, maybe 20 minutes prayer. Mm -hmm. Don't try to 
pray 30 minutes and I holler at nobody. Just, just get you 15, 20 minutes. You're going to find yourself, when you, once you do something 30 days, it automatically becomes a part of you. you. You may have to get up in the morning when, I mean, it's getting good. I mean, when the rain is coming down. Yes, sir. You know how rain calls you to sleep? Uh, Sometimes, but guess what? You still, you can pray when the rain ain't not rain on you. Yeah, I mean, what the rain got to do with you pray? You might cry in here, man. But you got to discipline yourself and make yourself. Say, so you know what? I, you, you know, all of us ought to commit ourselves to a, a, a point where it's unusual. Say, you know what? I haven't been getting up 6 o'clock in the morning, but I'm going to start. I'm going to get up 6 o'clock and I'm going to pray 15 or 20 minutes. I'm going to set that in my schedule. Amen. I ain't going to leave that high. Till I get in my prayer. Now, why you'll find out that becomes just like you putting on your clothes every day. Sometimes, I'm just throwing this out. Sometimes, you know what? I know five o'clock in the morning, four is a kind of odd hour. But God, I, I need you. Amen. I mean, if you want him bound up, yes, Lord. Thank you, you're throwing cover. Yeah. Nobody here knows. Jesus. Jesus. The best time to to, to have a relationship with God, get up early. early. In the morning. I, I'm an early bird. I have to get up early. Why? Yeah. Because it, 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 once from six on out, boy, I mean, I'm at every old. Yeah. 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 But three and four o'clock in the morning, guess what? The train not even running. The rooster have not even crow. Quiet! No distraction. And guess what? You can hear God. Yes, you can. And God can hear you. Yes, you I'm going to help you out some. If you want to grow, it's good that you can get up and get on your knee. Folks, uh, well, if I get up, I can't get down and put chairs some side so you can help me get up. Oh, yeah. And you've got to work it out. Oh, and then those who can't get up on your knee, set yourself in the world. Even if I don't even get up, I'm going to lay here and pray. Amen. Uh, and then if you want to grow, if you want to grow spiritual, let's keep right on reading that word. And guess what? It's going to come a time and a point in your life that I can't let a day go by without praising him. I, I can't let a day go by without lifting up his name. So right now we, we, we commit it every day. When I say every day, I mean every day. Uh, before we leave that house, we're going to pray. Yes. She may not hear me all the time, but I'm praying. We're going to pray. Do you follow what I'm saying? We're going to commit to pray. And we, we have this thing together that every time we get in a vehicle, all right. we might crank it up, but we ain't going nowhere. Sure. Right. We, we back out on the go rod. That's where we're going. We're going to pray. Amen. Every time we crank one, we're we going to pray. Because guess what? That had come a part of our life. Yeah. And guess what? You do it long enough. Yeah. If you like daily love coffee, you like certain kind of coffee, come, come a part of you. Uh, you can't do without it. It'd be the same thing. But guess what? I don't know about you. Some people are addicted to cigarettes, addicted to drugs. I got addiction to it. What in the world is my pastor addicted to? I'm addicted to the word. Woo! It's good to be addicted to it. In other words, I got to have it. I mean, not only one day, every day, I got to read something spiritual. Uh, All right, let, let me hit it. Like, my time is a God. This is good. Let, let me hit it last week. Whoa. Spiritual growth comes from our self denial. Listen, you and I have to give up something good to do what God wants us to do. Go well, without God discipline, nothing going to happen. If you cannot discipline yourself, nothing is going to happen. Mm -hmm. My question is, are you growing? Mm -hmm. If you're not growing, why am I not growing? Mm -hmm. And if you want to grow, mm -hmm. you can start tonight. Yes. Yes. And Jesus can grow. We're going to stop and pray if we're not, not even through, but I, I'm hoping God that we'll, we'll continue, that I can continue with this next Thursday night. Uh, I'm going to start out with a tree. 
every tree that's alive mm -hmm. grows every year. Sure. I don't care whether it's a pine tree, apple tree, oak tree, maple tree, cherry tree. I don't care what kind of tree it is. It grows every year. But watch this. The trees out there in the woods grow and nobody never put fertilizer to it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What? Ain't that something? Nobody never fertilized pine trees. But I'm going to tell you where they get their nourishment from. Anybody want to know? Where they get their nourishment from? The leaves. When the leaves fall off. No leaves stay right there and they go right back and that nourishment goes right down. And guess what? They come right back again. Right so we want to talk about next Thursday night is, uh, you know, are you growing? We're going to compare our life with a tree. Every tree has a trunk. Every tree has branches. And just like that tree is growing, watch this. The tree grows through the spring, the summer, the fall, and the winter. It, it shed leaves, but guess what? It keeps it on growing. A child of God may have to go through some seasons in their life. But you got to keep that on. But question, are you growing? And you know what? When you find your God, help us here. When you find yourself growing, it'll make you want to stand tall. I, I made some mistakes. I've done some things wrong. But at least I'm growing. I may not be growing as fast as the next person, but thank God that I'm moving. Thank God that I'm moving. And you know what? Don't worry about if somebody else can grow fast. Don't you worry about that. You, you, you just take your say, you keep your spade going. See, oh, yeah. you know, you, you can take the rabbit, the rabbit, and he, he can jump and run faster than a turtle. Uh -huh. But as long as the turtle keep that on moving. Oh, yeah. oh, I'm moving slow, but I'm getting there. Oh, yeah. so you, you can't do like you used to, but at least you grow. That's a, if you know that you are growing, you ought to give God some praise. If you know you are strong or not, then you are a man. You ought to give God a praise. You ought to say, you know what? It's starting to read, study, fast, and pray. And guess what? God will be with you. Oh, yeah. And he will help you to grow. Amen. Amen. Oh, this is good. You know, I got to get out of here. But you know what? I'm thinking about Moses. That Moses told me, you know, God talked to Moses, told him to go down and tell Pharaoh. He started to pray. Told me he can't talk to him. That's why he's stuck. <laughs> Sounds all right to me. Oh, <laughs> you see what I'm saying there? So, so God can take a stuff and straighten it right on out. Yeah. That's a sign you grow. And again, you know what? And when you started reading that thing, and that's why God started unraveling that thing. See, what, what you do, what, what we mess up is we go try to haul all that stuff up. You can't do it. Yeah. But if you just read one scripture a day, and when the end of the year come out, you'll be ready 350, 365 days. In one of that. And, get, and why they'll come a part of you. And all you got to say, God said, I need a revelation. Yeah. God, give me a revelation of your word. And then when God give you a revelation of your word, guess what? The word will come alive. Amen. Let me try it. I said, the word of God will come alive to you. And you know what? And when the word of God come alive to you, you don't have to always have no Bible with you. When you read it, guess what? He'll come alive to you. I hope I said something like that. Come on back. And this one, invite a friend. Invite a neighbor. I'm going to tell the church, oh, let us all come back on next Wednesday night and let's find out how we grow. Now you don't have to go and tell them I ain't growing. Guess what? They already know. <laughs> They already know. They already know, man. At the top. Amen. Who gonna pray? Nobody gonna pray. God knows how to pray. Don't pray. Nobody gonna pray. Amen. Don't nobody come and pray. I'm gonna pray. Oh, hey, oh. Amen. Come on, let's give God a hand clap. Thank you, Lord, for this day. Yes. 
thank you for this hour, oh God. I want to thank you, Lord, for life, health, and strength, oh God. I want to thank you, Lord, for just keeping us, oh God. In the name of Jesus, oh God. Thank you, Lord, for allowing us to assemble together yet yeah, one more time, oh God. Father God, we just want to say thank you, oh God. Thank you, Lord, for all that you've done, oh God. All that you're getting ready to do, oh God. God, we just want to say thank you, oh God. Oh God, we want to thank you, Lord, for, oh God, for just covering us, oh God. In our going, oh God. Covering us in our coming, oh God. Lord, we just want to say thank you, oh God. Oh God, thank you, Lord, for our steps, oh God. That you had ordered, oh God. You said the steps of a good man are ordered by you, oh God. For that, Lord, we just want to say thank you, oh God. We want to thank you, God, because you have been better to us, oh God, than we have been to ourselves, oh God. God, we just want to say thank you, oh God. We want to thank you, Lord, for, oh God, just being here. Oh God, yeah, one more time, oh God. We want to say thank you, oh God. Oh God, thank you, Lord, for every family circle, oh God. We get, pray, God, you continue to touch us, oh God. Right now, in the name of Jesus, oh God. Bless us one by one. Yes. Bless us all together, oh God. In the precious name of Jesus, oh God. Oh God, we pray, God, that you continue, oh God, to bless us, oh God, when we leave this place, oh God. Oh God, let our homes, oh God, be standing, oh God, just as strong as the world we left, oh God. God, we just want to say thank you, oh God. Oh God, we praying, oh God, you continue to touch those, oh God, that's been in abusive situations, oh God. Been in stressful situations, oh God. Press those depressed and down, down and out, oh God. Oh God, cover them, oh God, like only you can, oh God. Wrap your arms around them and keep them in your care, oh God. Lord, we just want to say thank you, oh God. Oh God, we praying, oh God, for, oh God, for, for everything right now, oh God. Because we know everything going down but the word, oh God. We're praying though, for, for those in Ukraine. Those in Israel, those in Egypt, oh God. Those that's in wars, oh God. Touch it right now, oh God. In the name of Jesus, oh God. Oh God, touch every child, every woman, every boy, oh God. Oh God, we pray God continue to touch every school, oh God. Oh God, so much going on, oh God. But we know you're still in the midst, oh God. For that, Lord, we just want to say thank you, oh God. Oh God, continue to bless us, oh God. And we continue to study, read and study your word, oh God. Oh God, we thank you, Lord, for the growth, oh God. That we had sustained so far, oh God. Oh God, but we still need more of you, oh God. For that, Lord, we just want to say thank you, oh God. Oh God, we pray and God continue to cover Pastor Black, oh God. And he continue to, oh God, go in your storehouse of knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, oh God. That we can continue to write, that he can continue to write the Bible and the word of truth, oh God. That men and women, boys and girls, yeah. come running to cry and say, what must I do to be saved, oh God? We pray God continue to have your way, oh God. Oh God, we just want to thank you right now, oh God. If we had 10,000 tons, we couldn't thank you enough, oh God, for what you've done and what you're doing, oh God. Oh God, we pray God continue to bless, oh God, the president, oh God. Continue to lead and guide him, oh God. And, oh God, that the country, oh God, will still be, oh God, standing, oh God. Bless everybody, every government official, oh God. Every head, oh God, bless every, oh God, bless every, oh God, from the top to the bottom, from side to side, oh God. Oh God, bless us one by one and all together, oh God. We want to thank you, oh God, we want to give you the praise, we want to give you all the honor and all the glory, oh God. Oh God, this is a damn prayer, oh God. If I fail to ask for anything, oh God, oh God, we pray God should just do it anyway, oh God. We thank you, oh God, we praise you, we give you all the glory, all the honor and all the praise. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.